Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about a EDH card doubling season that has more than doubled in price. It's pretty much quadrupled in price, which is very impressive because it is a reprint. So we're looking at the Modern Masters doubling season. When it came out, it was $14. It was $14 because, again, it was reprinted not as a mythic, but as a rare. So again, it's a rare reprint in a, you know, I would say a limited run set, but still a reprint nonetheless. And it has gone up $50 already. So if you had an extra play set of these, you just made $200 in trade. This is exactly the type of graph you want to see. You want to see continuously going up, but you don't want to see major spikes. You want to see it just go up steadily every single month and that's what happened with this card this card is very very good it is a staple on EDH and even if there was another reprint I don't expect it to go that much lower and it's one of those cards where if you have a hundred copies of this I would not worry about moving them if you sold them for $55 they would move very fast are fifty dollars they would move extremely fast because there's so high demand a lot of times when you see a spike like lion's eye diamond yes the graph tells you it's worth 250 dollars but no one's paying 250 dollars for it if you had a hundred copies of lion's eye diamond good luck trying to move even all hundred copies even at 200 dollars a new artificial inflated price but for something like doubling season there is no concern, there's no worry about moving it. And when I choose cards to speculate on, the number one thing I look at is how easy is it to move this card if the card goes up in price. So when you look at Falia and Malera, they are very easy to move. If you put it a dollar or two lower than its TCG low, you will move it almost instantaneously because there's actual demand for the card. Lion's Eye Diamond, if you put it at 10% lower, you're still going to wait. You need to wait a long time if you had 100 Lion's Eye Diamonds. I would not need to wait any time and make you know the same profit on something like Doubling Season. So Doubling Season, EDH in general, is a very, very good investment uh, in terms of at least making your money back and definitely having a value in trade. Trading for trading away a doubling season is super easy. Trading away a lion's eye diamond, there's conditioning issues, there's you know, trading down issues, trade value. I don't know, like I would much rather have six doubling seasons or the equivalent of six three hundred dollars in doubling seasons rather than two lion's eye diamonds, which I assume is equivalent of three hundred dollars in lion's eye diamonds. It really comes down to how liquid the card is something like doubling season you can have a thousand copies of this card and not really worry about moving them should you want to bye guys